Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this lesson, let us talk about maintenance testing. So we have talked about test levels, we talked about test types. Now we will talk about maintenance testing. In the earlier lessons around the SDLC model, we told that a software, when it is from a concept stage, it will be requirements are analyzed, then designed, coded and delivered. And once it is released, and it will be in the hands of end users. End users will be accessing the system or a lot of times we call it the software is in production. During that time also software or during that time software enters what we call its maintenance life cycle. And during maintenance life cycle a lot of changes can happen to the software and software's environment. So when the software is in maintenance life cycle all the testing that is performed we categorize it as maintenance testing. So in this lesson, let us learn about what is maintenance testing. And before we get into that, let us look at this simple case and understand what is really maintenance life cycle and what happens to the software. So in this situation, Data Aras, a company, maintains a database of client names and addresses. They developed a system to support their marketing efforts and to produce reports from the database that is the system recently the company has upgraded upgraded their version from 4.7 to version 5.0 so already the system 4.7 is in use people are using it now they have upgraded they may have added some extra features modified and released a system that is version 5.0 of the system now below there are two scenarios when you are in charge of testing what will you consider so check the right option so the first one is post the release of 5.0 into production what will you do or prior to that verify the integrity of the database by rerunning all existing database and system tests will you do that or not the second option is verify the database integrity when someone notices an error in a mailing list or report you have made a modification and before putting into production will you do the first one that is rerunning all the tests related to the database and system or you will just leave it to the customers to notice some errors and then fix it which one will you do obviously the first one so as i told you the software once it is released to the market and when people are using it it will undergo changes and that part of the life cycle of software we call it as maintenance life cycle and during that time also software will have to be tested whenever changes happen in other words in the last chapter the fourth type of testing we talked about change related test types so those test types are applicable in our maintenance testing. So in the previous life cycle models I talked about the software's life cycle. An idea is born and then the software is designed, delivered and once you deliver the software, software will be in the maintenance phase and then after some time the software will be retired. So whatever happens from the idea till software is released, that is the requirements, design, code test we do variety of test levels and we call that as testing done through the software development life cycle now once you release the software software is in the maintenance life cycle so all the testing you perform in the maintenance life cycle will be called maintenance testing and once the life of the software is over software can be retired or sunset so a new software takes its place so that is how we explained our life cycle earlier. So from a maintenance testing point of view, as I told you, whenever during the maintenance phase of the software, modification of a software product after delivery to correct defects, to improve performance or other attributes or to adapt the product to a modified environment. Because the maintenance life cycle software exists for longest period of its time. So a lot of changes can happen over this time and all these type of changes will lead to maintenance of the 
software. And during maintenance, what are the test types that are most relevant? As we told earlier, retesting and regression testing. So to recap again on retesting, re-executing test cases that previously failed because the defects that were now supposedly corrected. That aspect is called retesting. Regression testing is retesting a previously tested system or component following a modification to confirm that no new defects have been introduced or uncovered in unchanged areas of the software as a result of the modifications. That is how we defined regression testing and we talked about regression testing. Change can happen to the test object itself or change can happen to the test environment or the software's environment. Whatever change happens, we need to do regression testing. And often regression testing is very cumbersome. Let's say a system that is in production is in maintenance cycle. We may have large test suites covering thousands of test cases. Now a small modification happens to the software. Ideally what we have to do, we have to execute all these thousands of test cases. Otherwise we run a risk of regression. But already the system is in production. Customers, the end users are using the system. And in order to do this regression testing extensively, you need a lot of effort, a lot of people, a lot of time. And during the process of testing, the system is not accessible for the end users. Can we live with that situation? So always regression testing is extremely cumbersome, time consuming, a repeated activity. So often regression tests are automated using tools like Selenium or QTP. So now let us understand the differences between retesting and regression testing. Let us check our understanding. So there are four situations. You tell me what is, are we doing retesting here or are we doing regression testing? So the first one, re-executing a test case that failed after the software was updated to correct the error. What is it called? It is retesting. Executing all test cases for a software application after its operating system changes. So operating system changed. So because of the operating system change, we want to ensure that we don't run into risk of regression. We chose to execute all test cases for that software application. So are we talking about retesting or are we talking about regression testing? Yes, we are talking about regression testing. The third is executing tests for a new release of component before it is integrated into the system. So what are we talking here? It is a new component and we have to test. It's still under development and we have to test. Executing tests for a new release of a component before it is integrated into the system. There is no modification happened. We are, so we, we are talking about retesting here. And the fourth one is executing the high priority test procedures for a software application before putting into production new hardware equipment that operates the software. Okay, so we are talking about regression testing because a change happened to the hardware in the production. So please understand the differences between retesting and regression testing. So now let us talk about maintenance testing versus new application testing. What is the difference? As I told you, during software's development lifecycle, that is from requirements till it is released, it is designed, it is coded, tested. That is what we call it as new application testing. We do multiple levels and all types of testing as well. And once it is in production, we do maintenance testing. That's what, so let us understand the differences between maintenance testing and new application testing. So in maintenance testing, system is in operational use. System is not under development. So on the contrary, new application testing, system is not in productive use. It is still undergoing development. So testing done during development, we call it as new application testing. System, when it is in operational use, because change is happening, whatever test we do, we call it as maintenance testing. As test engineers joining companies, you will be involved in all these type of work. You may get involved in new application testing as well as you may be involved in 
doing maintenance testing. In maintenance testing, testing is related to changes in the software or the system's environment. So it's always change related testing types are applied during maintenance testing. Whereas in the new application testing, testing is related to all software functions and system environment. Here you focus more on change. Here, because it is still undergoing development, all functions of and systems environments you have to test before putting into production. The third difference is the scope in maintenance testing is related to risk of change or changes. Only change is the scope. Whereas in the new application testing, scope of testing includes all functions. And the fourth difference is maintenance testing depending on the risk of change. Testing may or may not be done for different test levels and test types. Because you will, there are, if you want to choose to do all regression testing, it takes a lot of time. So you will always assess the risk of the change and the related areas and that is how you apply the risk. So depending on the risk of the change, testing may or may not be done for different test levels of different test types. But in application testing, new application testing, all test levels and test types should be done because still it is undergoing development. So that is the difference between maintenance testing and new testing. So please keep that in your mind. And if you have any questions, please put them on the discussion forum and I will be answering you. So learn, have fun.